Since he started his new job two weeks ago, France's newly appointed Prime Minister, Manuel Valls, has already received praise for his plans to cut business taxes and reduce public spending, while also pledging to keep austerity commitments with the European Union. But for French Jews, his appointment doesn't just bring economic benefits, but also security for their community, which for years has felt underrepresented and sometimes under attack from those who want to incite anti-Semitism and an anti-Israel sentiment. Last year, Vals was one of the most vocal critics against Comic Dudonné, the inventor of the Quinell gesture, a reverse Nazi-style salute widely perceived as anti-Semitic. As the interior minister then, he led a campaign to ban the comedian's nationwide shows in France on public order and hate speech grounds. However, the crackdown on Dudonné, a man convicted of public defamation and racial discrimination, did not come without the loss of public support. With France's entrenched ideas of complete freedom of expression, Vauss's approval rating dropped between 5 and 8 percent following his announcement of the ban on the comics' shows. The Quinell hit the headlines after footballer Nicola Anelka made the gesture during a goal celebration against West Ham in December. England's Football Association handed out a five-match ban and an £80,000 fine in late February. He was then fired by the Premier League club West Brom for gross misconduct. More recently, Anelka told a French newspaper Vals made decisions over the Quinell scandal under pressure from his Jewish wife, who Vals married in 2010. The footballer also claimed Dudonné has become more of a brother than a friend and that he hoped Vals would put as much energy into fixing France as he did fighting his comedian friend.